what you're looking at is not the end of times, Armageddon, or a zombie apocalypse. It's a West Texas haboob, and it's been dusting up controversy because of its origin in the Arabic language. Many people feel in America we should use the term sandstorm. The controversy even made its way to USA Today. But is there a difference between a sandstorm and a haboob? We went to the experts to find out. Dude, this is nuts. Well, there is a difference between a haboob and a sandstorm. I've been using the word haboob since uh, 2000. Uh, after 2001 and the whole thing against terrorism, there are some people, yes, I received emails, phone calls, you know, you're a Muslim, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, if you are, want to remove, uh, you know, Arabic words from English, then I couldn't use alcohol or algebra. That's all it is. It's just a word. I know some people are concerned about the origin of the word haboob, and it's been used here in, uh, it's been used in meteorological terms in the U.S. going back, well, all the way into the 50s or so, when really the, this whole science started to gain a lot more publication. But when I'm talking about the weather, I often try to just use the simple terms. When we're on TV, sometimes we get uh, you know, too smart for ourselves, it seems like. When we're reading a news story or giving the weather something, try to sound too smart. Um, I'll say there's blowing dust or wall of dirt. Um, but certainly, if you're going to call it that, a haboob, and something that's been used in meteorology here going back decades. Dust storm is a day when we may have a wind that's sustained from the west and southwest. There's no wind change direction at all, or wind speed direction, just slowly increases, and you see the dust slowly grow, and you see the sky go brown. That's a dust storm. We have a lot of those. And a boob is developed either by a thunderstorm complex that collapses and creates an outflow boundary, which means a sudden shift and wind direction and speed. We've had our haboobs this year with fronts. So by this west wind, when you look at satellite imagery, there's a lot of sand in the western Oklahoma panhandle. So the, you hear this west wind, the wind suddenly shifts to the north and you see this big wall of dirt moving through, that's a haboob. It can be scary, especially if you're driving because it's that well-defined, you can see it over the horizon. Here comes that wall of dirt and it's greatly, greatly dropping the visibility, oftentimes maybe a half mile, quarter mile, sometimes it's just about to zero. Haboobs are important to note because in 2011, more people died in the Lubbock area from auto accidents, from the sudden dust reducing visibility to zero than any of the severe weather events. And if you wanna look at what can really affect people here across West Texas, we haven't had, thankfully, we've not had a death tied to a tornado here since Happy. There was a tornado in Happy back in 2002. We have had deaths tied to the greatly reduced visibility in these dirt storms. So now that when we have a haboob moving into the Metro Olympic area and the South Plains, we will go on the air and we will tell people, this is dangerous for visibility, slow down, give yourself plenty of extra space, turn your lights on, because it could be dangerous if you're driving. And haboob is the correct meteorological term for this event.